So spring is in the air in my Modesto, California zone 9B tropical garden. I noticed that many of my trees, not just my avocado trees, are starting to get new growth flushes. And not having gotten any water in the last couple weeks, I figured, hey, that's better. We better start irrigating some of these trees. And I started looking at this, my will, what I call the Wilma multi-grafted avocado tree. And I'm like, wow, this thing is not looking great. It's yellowing. Uh, it's got some, some, just some unhealthy leaves on it. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? All of a sudden I noticed over here, take a look at this. I don't know if you can see this, it's in the shade, but there's a big difference at the graft union, this being the seedling and this being Wilma. What the heck's going on? Hi, my name is Jeff and welcome to my Tropical Garden channel. Today we're gonna to talk about avocado grafting and graph compatibility. But first, if you like this channel, go ahead and hit the like, the subscribe button, the notification bell. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody. But first, let's take a look at this graft union again and, and, and discuss what had happened. Well, you see, I was experimenting with my grafting. This tree being a couple years, I think it's like five or six, maybe a little bit older. And all I had to do graft was seedling Hass from the store-bought fruit. And somebody had given me some Wilma avocado uh, budwood and I figured, well, the Hass tree looks, seedling looks good. So what difference is it gonna make? You know, I, if, if Hass is not as hardy as Wilma, but you know, it's not gonna really affect it in the long run if we don't get temperatures cold enough to damage Hass. Well, Wilma being a Mexican avocado and a Hass being a, I believe it's a hybrid, Hass doesn't start growing. It start, doesn't start sending out new growth and for about a month later than Wilma being a Mexican avocado. Wilma, as you can see, it's, it's trying to push new growth, but I'm thinking that maybe the seedling down below is still waiting to uh, start growing at a normal Hass, Hass time. See what we got there? Well, I'm on Hass. I, so it's, yeah, this tree is really not looking great. And I'm thinking that it's due to the incompatibility of the seedling and the variety that I grafted onto it. Let's go over here and take a look at the other avocado tree that has uh, seedling is uh, Mexicola Grande and it has Mexicola Grande uh, grafted onto it and as you can see the darn thing is growing great in that Mexicola Grande now is the time that the rootstock will be sending out new growth and it's absolutely take a look at how much healthier both of these trees have the exact same watering schedule both have the same uh, nutrition but as you can see, this thing is way more, way more better shape. And you take a look at these that are the Guatemalan, uh, the varieties that are Guatemalan, they don't need to take off like the Mexican varieties do now that it's, it's time for Mexican varieties to start their new growth. So they just sit there looking healthy. Look at all this. I don't know if you can see all that. All, the, all that Mexicola Grande is all in the state of rapid growth, flowering and all that. But unfortunately, Wilma's not doing so good. So in about a month or so, I'm going to top that thing down all the way down to about a foot off the ground and I'm gonna graft it with a Hass variety and see how that does. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? So 
So if you like this channel, if you like growing tropical fruit trees in marginal climates, make sure you hit that like, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below. You have a wonderful day.